Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I'm wondering if you've ever tried to do something, had every intention in the world of getting that something done. Maybe it was even a little tiny thing, or maybe it was a big, huge project, but you never quite got there. Now, I'm not talking about things where you tinker, you know? You got uh, an old car in the in the garage, and you're constantly playing with it, trying to restore it. That's going to be a lifelong project. You know it. You're not really trying to. You're not really trying to finish it. You're trying to like relax while you're doing it. Or, you know, maybe you do crafting, and you know you're working on this scrapbook that you've had forever, and it's just never going to get done. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things like learning voiceover or becoming an actor, or figuring out a new piece of software so that you can get something else done. I mean, there's always these sub things. So I've looked at things that I've tried to accomplish, and I've looked at the things that I, I've never quite been able to pull the trigger on and say, okay, that's done, that's awesome. And what I've come up with, and I've also read a few articles around the kind of, uh, the kind of reflect the same general impressions that I have, I've found three things that usually make us stall, that usually uh, stop us from getting to the end, to, to the finish line. And the big one for me, there's, there's, there's a couple of others that I learned to overcome, but the big one for me is something was really exciting at the beginning, but then once you got into it, it was kind of like, well... Eh, you know, you lose your love for it and maybe even lose your direction because once you get into it, what you thought you were going to love about it doesn't turn out to be the actual case. Now, I don't know that there's much you can do about that other than look for something to love about it, just like you do with your characters. Um, if that's why your stuff never comes to fruition, I'm not sure that's a bad thing, you know. Uh, we talk about doing the things that we love and the money will follow. And actually, what we talk about is doing the things that you love really well and be prepared for them really well. But, you know, it's like if you get into a relationship and you, f if you find that the person that you thought was one thing isn't that and not really attractive to you, you know, you're doing yourself a favor by saying, okay, that's just not going to happen. This this project that I thought was going to be great because I was really falling in love with it, just not going to do it. So uh, you lose your love or you lose your focus, your direction on something, and you really just can't regain it. It just doesn't, you know, like what Marie Kondo says, it doesn't spark joy anymore, right? Um, the two things that I found that do occur that you can fix, at least I've been able to usually overcome them. There's some things that are just stubborn, but uh, the first one is the details are boring. And I'm not sure what happened to me, but at some point in my adult life, details and trimming the edges and shaving down the flash and nipping and tucking and making sure that things actually were uh, detailed. You know, they call cars that are washed and waxed and really paid attention to detailed as opposed to washed and waxed. And the reason is those final little things, those fine, all those, those little hanging, hanging chads and, and, and little details, uh, those can be boring to people. And what I always reminded myself and what really caused this to be something that flipped the switch was that those details people really appreciate when they're taken care of. Right now, we're trimming and, and uh, you know, adjusting and finding uh, answers for some of the little things on VOHeroes.com. You know, when we first launched it, you know, we, we, I took my own advice. You know, go with it. Don't wait. Uh, just put it out there. As soon as it's a minimum viable product, put it out there. Let people bang on it. Um, and then figure out what needs to get fixed because it's a process. It's not a thing that happens and then you're done. I mean, stuff is going to happen in the future that's going to make it better as well. So you, those little details, find the, the comfort and the reward in those details. Because when you do that, your stuff looks better. You're more proud of it. You know, it's not just those, those crappy little details that you need to, that, that are constantly nagging at you. Those things are awesome. I really treat them with respect. 
And the whole idea of the minimum viable product thing leads me into the third item of the three that I wanted to share with you today. And that is that you sometimes don't let things get finished because you sometimes let perfection get in the way of shipping. Um, we've talked about this in the past, but not in the context of it stopping you from finishing something. Sometimes we talk about perfection getting in the way of shipping when we talk about just getting things underway, right? Getting started with something. And we're going to talk about this more in a couple of days when I start the new class. Um, but the idea that you get you get all the bricks laid in place and everything's nice and neat, but it kind of isn't just right and you got to move it just a little bit before you can let anybody see it or, 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 or talk about it. That concept of trying to get everything perfect before you finish the project, it's a fool's errand. It really is. I'm not saying you should be dangerously sloppy or not care about the final product and what it looks like. But there is a range between it's just not ready for prime time and you're spending way too much time trying to make it absolutely perfect. There's a range in there that's the sweet spot for saying, okay, this is finished, but it's going to go through some new iterations. But if you keep that whole perfection thing in your head, you're never going to ship. You're never going to finish. So did you lose your joy for it? Did you let the details get in the way? Did you let the details get you bogged down? Uh, did you let perfection stop you from finishing it? Let me know in the comments below if these things make sense to you. And if there's anything else that has stopped you in the past, I'd love to know about it. Because maybe I just have a blind spot and I haven't recognized what it is that has stopped me from doing things. I can tell you that since I started doing the analysis of it, it's kind of like the reverse Heisenberg principle, right? Doing the analysis of it has made it better for me in terms of production, in terms of efficiency, uh, reasonable production and efficiency, right? Um, I've got a, a video coming up on uh, the Ivy Lee method, which is just fascinating. I tried it for a week and I'm going to tell you my results. But um, the, the idea that you can actually finish things if you're aware of what's stopping you. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense. I'd love to know. Uh, get on the list by filling out the form at the bottom of the page and you'll get notified when uh, these videos come out and also when I have other things that I want to share with you in the world of performance, in voiceover, in uh, strategies and tactics and tips and tricks and systems and honing and shaving and refining and taking care of the details and not letting perfection get in your way, all right? Uh, let me know. Just give me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.